The White House Coronavirus Task Force held a news conference today for the first time since the end of July. That task force has been meeting frequently with state governors. Members this afternoon addressed rising cases and also states implementing new restrictions. They also joined the CDC in warning about the Thanksgiving holiday and encouraging people not to travel. News Nation correspondent Nancy Liu live in Los Angeles tonight with more on this. Nancy. Well, Rob, the CDC says its recommendation for Americans not to travel is a strong recommendation and not a requirement. It is having an impact. Airlines reporting more cancellations and a slowdown in bookings. However, a lot of Thanksgiving travel is already underway. We feel like it's risky, but, you know, we want to get back to Colorado okay. for the holidays. So. Many at Los Angeles International today had made travel plans long before this morning's announcement from the CDC. I had already had my reservations, so I didn't change them, yeah. Apart from recommending against Thanksgiving travel, the CDC says those who do should strictly follow all safety protocols, although gatherings which combine different households are strongly discouraged. The safest way to spend Thanksgiving this year is with the immediate members of your household. A doctor at University of Utah Health boils it down bluntly. Some people have said, you know, gather at Thanksgiving and regather for your funeral on New Year's Day. And that's a bleak way to put it. But at this point, we really have to be honest. The CDC says anyone who has not been in a household for at least 14 days should not be considered a member of that household. That applies to tens of thousands of college students who are testing this week and likely heading for home next week. Obviously, I'm going to be careful. I wear my mask around most people. Like if I'm going to my grandparents' house, I'll wear the mask inside. Despite the warnings and recommendations, people across America have been lining up for testing ahead of Thanksgiving. While many are downsizing dinner plans, some are still forging ahead with travel. My mom personally said that if they did like close down airports and stuff, like, well, oh well then. So, but since they didn't, she's like, well, we're going to go. Now, last month, AAA had forecast that about 50 million Americans would be on the move for Thanksgiving. It's not clear yet how much the CDC plea will impact that number. Ahead of the holiday, California has issued a limited stay-at-home order starting on Saturday, which includes a curfew of 10 p.m. Live at LAX, Nancy Liu, News Nation.